Hello everybody, Ministorm here, and welcome back to Transport Fever. In the last episode, we got to work on building the first segment of rail that is going to be eventually part of, well, part of the eventual uh, crater edge or rim loop. It's going to go around the inside of the uh, major crater feature of this map. Um, there was a bit of a question in the comments of why I'm calling it a crater. And it's because, well, it, it, it's a crater. It's a giant crater. There's the, the rim, and here's the central mound of the crater. Uh, this was actually uh, derived from an actual, uh, well, basically the height map of an actual crater that I believe was on Mars when I was building the map. So this is an actual crater. Um, now, the rest of the map is blended from a lot of different places. I grabbed all kinds of real world terrain height maps um, from different areas. I think like a lot of this over here is from like the uh, in somewhere in California and there's a few other places um, blended together here uh, to make this map up. But uh, that crater is is I believe from Mars. All right, so with that clarification, oh, I always forget to turn those off. All right, that uh, we can go ahead and get to work here. Now, one thing is, again, I did move the game forward a little bit. Not as much as I have before. We're in 1880 now, and um, we got these new trains that are using, I forget what these engines, these locomotives, called, uh, but using these high-speed locomotives with the clerestory coaches. Uh, the one issue with those clerestory coaches, while they can withstand a high speed, they are very heavy, so it is hard for them to get pulled up to speed. Now, when we flipped over to 1880, at least when I flipped over to 1880 while I was uh, advancing the game, we got access to a new a new coach. I think I probably want to try and use here. So, let me go ahead and grab the line. And this is going to be the uh, train passenger. This one. This one right here. So, if we go for replacement, I'm just going to remove those coaches. And we're gonna go for wagons. And what we got is the Teak Composite Coach. It's available from 1880. It can do a top speed of 160 kilometers per hour. It carries 14 passengers as opposed to the Clerestory's 16. But it weighs less than half uh, of what a Clerestory Coach does. It's a little bit more expensive but I think that the reduced weight will offset. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna put three of those on there. And I go ahead and tell it to replace now. It's gonna cost 2.65 million to replace. We're just gonna go ahead and say yes and um, get that done. And so when these guys get into station, they will swap out uh, their, their wagons. And uh, hopefully the reduced weight will help these en these locomotives get up to a uh, better speed on this line. Because it is a fairly long stretch of track. All right, so, well, we're getting closer and closer to the turn of the century. Um, we are getting to a point where, well, because we got access to steam trams, which we should be running on in all cities right now. So yeah, we're running the steam trams. And that means that electric trams are not that far behind. Now, we can just go ahead, when the electric trams come out, just go ahead and upgrade to electric trams. Um, the game will let us do that. Because there's, there's no requirements to actually have access to electricity to be able to, you know, run, you know, 
electric wires over all the tram track and everything, and eventually electrify uh, the rail as well. But I think I'm going to go ahead and impose a little bit of a restriction on myself here, is that I am not going to build anything that uses electricity until we're actually generating electricity, because in the new industry mod, it allows for these here. A power plant. Right now, it's not doing anything because we're not feeding it with any resources. But we can either feed it with uh, refined oil or coal. If we feed it with coal, it produces slag as a byproduct. So I think that's what we're going to try and go ahead and do is get this power plant up and running. And I think what we're going to use is we're going to use ships to do it. And... What I think we're going to do is we're going to use coal. So we're going to have to feed it with coal, most likely from this particular coal mine. We'll set up a, uh, a wagon line that will move coal to the coast, and then we'll build a dock to pick up the coal, put the coal on a ship, and we'll ship the coal over there, unload it, and deliver it to the power plant. And then we're going to bring back the slag on the same ships, deliver it here, and then we're going to have to deliver that slag to a construction materials plant. And then we're going to have to get the construction materials delivered to a city. Now, getting the construction materials delivered to a city is probably not going to be too difficult because double check because we are using we're using these early flat cars on our existing freight trains they can carry construction material so if we can get the construction material to this train depot right this train yard here then we can offload it and load it on trains and then bring the construction materials over here, load it onto this um, road freight depot, and then use our existing wagons to get the construction materials to cities. That is going to be the plan. So, let's go ahead and work in that direction. So first thing we're gonna wanna do is we're going to want to go ahead and drop in a freight port terminal for our boats. So we're going to go ahead, we're going to switch over to freight, and there's our cargo harbor. Now I do have the mod that allows us to determine whether we want the docks to be on the left or right. I think we're going to keep it on the left because the, the, the ships are going to be heading in that direction. You'll see what I mean in a moment. But let's go ahead and get this guy set here. I think. Oh, that's that's not what I wanted to do. I hit the wrong button. Okay, there, there we go. Okay, let's see. That'll work. Drop it. Okay. So first thing we need to do is we need to get from here to there, the road. That shouldn't be too difficult. So we're going to come over top of the train tracks with a bridge. We don't want to collide with the, with the train. Now, what type of bridge do I want to use? Want to go wood trellis? Nah. Uh, we go with stone. Oh, stone looks nice. No, a girder bridge. No. Uh, let's see. That 
That's a nicer looking stone. Oh, we'll go with that. Build it. Okay. Alright, then we're gonna bring the rest of this road over there. Perfect. Alright, so now what we're gonna need is we're gonna need some road freight depots. Make sure we're going to freight. We can use a truck station. Waste collection. Yeah, we're gonna have to worry about that at some point. Alright, let's flip you around. Unfortunately, since I have quite a large amount of money in the bank, I don't necessarily need to worry about how much these things are going to cost. Drop it in there. Alright. And then we'll need another one. Up here. Uh, let's go on this side. To do less terrain modification there. All right. Somewhat. Okay. All right. And then we're gonna do a line. We're gonna do road freight. Road freight. Coal. Uh, two docks. Not that. Docks. There we go. Oh, and I closed it. There we go. Alright, now we're going to need a way to get some wagons there, which fortunately we can use this road depot. Alright, so how many do you think we're going to need? Uh, let's go with... American horse carts. They can carry five at a time. It's not that long of a route, but we do want it to be moving... Moving coal pretty good. So let's go ahead and do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's do eight. Set line. There we go. Call the docks. Alright, so those guys are going to be coming out now. They're going to head on over there. Alright, so while they're working, we're going to need a shipyard. Go ahead and drop that in right about here. All right, good. And we're going to need another dock over here. And for this one, we're going to want the docks to be on the right. Now, hopefully, we're going to be able to get this close enough to the power plant that we aren't going to need to do a stupidly short road. Uh, road transport there. I think we should be fine. All right, let's go ahead and connect that road up. Bingo. All right, let's make sure that you are, yep, you're in the catchment area. Good. All right, so there we go. That's that's one. All right, next thing we need to do is we need to get the slag to this. Getting a train to do that run is going to be almost impossible. Almost impossible. Perhaps not impossible. We bring the slag there. Then we 
need to get the construction materials there. You know what we might be able to do here? Is a station. Alright, let me... Well, let me let this train pass through here. And I think we're going to drop a station in here. And then we're going to have these, uh... These guys stop there. That should potentially work. And then we can run a train. Hopefully we can get a, an actual rail to come like down out of here and around this way and then we can bring it into the station all right let's pause it for a moment all right because it's gonna have to be pretty much like right here so we're gonna have to uh kick that out of there So we're going to need a 400 meter long station. We're going to need to remove even more of that, all right? All right. 400 meter long station. That works. Uh, we're going to need to flip it around. I'm going to need to have three tracks. All right. Probably gonna have to demolish even more of this. Just gonna tear it all the way back to, to that. All right, and then let's let's back you off as well. There we go. Okay. I am gonna want to put some curvature in there. Uh, ever so. No, it's a little bit too much curvature. Just ever so slightly curved. Alright, and hopefully this is going to be in catchment as well. I think... I think that will do. It is in catchment. Good. Good, good, good. Okay. Now, I don't think I'm going to do a diamond interchange here. Because I shouldn't need it. And it's going to be very difficult. Very difficult. Yeah, but this whole this whole track is gonna have to get torn back quite a bit. All right. Oh no. Okay. All right. Let's see. Can I get this? Come in here and connect to that. Yes. Good. All right. I'll bring you there. Perfect. All right. And that's a passenger station. I knew I was going to do it at some point. That is a passenger station. All right. Destroy it. All right, let's try that again, shall we? 400 meters long. Oh, we need to be on the flexible, 400 meters long, uh, with the right curvature, and it should just slot right in. Yes. 
There we go. Not, not a. Oh, these guys need to be fixed because they didn't line up quite exactly right. But that's no big deal. There we go. Duplicate segment. Oh, because this is not snapping to the right spot. There we go. Okay. All right. Now, we don't need to put the signal back in here because the station itself kind of functions as a bit of a, an implied signal. All right. Now, next bit of business is going to be you. All right, so we have the train yard. So it's gonna be coming in this direction. And so after that train yard, we're gonna have you stop there. And then after Ranpier Station, you're gonna stop there again. Perfect. All right. Now we can get that back moving. It's not really gonna do anything other than slow them down slightly, but it, it's not gonna hurt them too much. I don't think. It's just going to reduce their, their frequency a little bit. All right. Now, getting a 400 meter long station up here is going to be next to impossible. Um, but I don't think we're going to need one. We're going to use a terminal freight station. You know, if, if I try to put in a 400 meter long, unless I give it some really, really good curvature... It might fit? No. No way. I think we might need to drop it down about 200, and even that is not going to be able to align terrain. Though it will align over here. So just, we won't be able to put in any train any longer than 200 meters. Um, unless I go 320 meters? No, no, even that still is too long. Okay, so 200 meters should be fine. Drop that in. All right. Connect the road. Too much slope. Of course it's too much slope. Not be too much slope. All right, we're gonna have to. Uh, do something like that. It just has to be in catchment, which it is. Good. Okay. Now, next. Getting the train from here to there. I don't think we're going to need to worry about speed too much because, you know, it's already going to be coming uphill. So. All right, if we're coming like that. Let's see, can I bring it more like this? And maybe get that to be a different material? A different bridge design? No, we don't want that. We don't want the tre trellis. We want something with some speed on it. That's really, really expensive. I like the brick. It's not going to go any faster than 70. 
so we can go with something slightly cheaper. Like one of these stone numbers. Yeah, let's go with this. Let's go with this light stone. Okay. There we are. Now we might be having multiple trains come down here, so I'm going to go ahead and double track if it's going to let me. Bridge pillar collision. Okay. Well, we may not be able to double track here on the bridge. That's okay. What we can probably do is double track once we get back on on the on the ground here. And we need to get down the mountain, right? We need to get down down the hill here. Cuz we need to come in there. Okay, actually, we don't need to get down the, the mountain that, that aggressive. Um, we could go into a tunnel. To get ourselves down the mountain and onto the flat. That's not a good angle. Okay, so we need to kind of come out of here more, more down this direction. Yes. You know what? I can take that. Take it. All right. And then let's go ahead and get that on double track. What happens if I just try to do it all in one shot? That's not terrible. It's really chugging me down. Um, you know what? Let's do it. We're going to drop back down to single track as we approach the station. Depot here. Which is no big deal. There we go. Alright, now we're going to need some signals. Signal up here. And then... Let's see, we're going to want to signal... Basically here, coming out of the... Out of the tunnel. Basically, going to treat this bridge as if it was part of the station. So we're not going to let any trains come back past here until this whole line is clear. And then we're going to want a couple of moving blocks. Okay, just in case. Probably put some signals right about there. And put some more signals right about there. Just eyeballing it. Okay. That works, and then we're going to go ahead and we're going to run this, and it's going to say um, train freight uh, slag to construction. I'm going to have to name the construction materials plant. Um, I always do that. There we go. Um, at some point. I'll probably name this mine, too. Alright, and then you're going to there. Good. And then I need to get a train on that. If 
unfortunately, I don't think there's any easy way to do it. There's no way it's going to let me run a connection like that. Not only is it way too tight a curve, it's also two different elevations. Yeah, that will never work. Alright, so we're just going to have to build a depot real quick. It's not hard, not too bad. They're pretty cheap. So, we'll go ahead and do that. Let's do that over here. Just drop that in. Uh, we can always demolish it later if we need to. Double slip. Oh, that's ugly. Uh, let's try that again. Let's do it this way. Let's... Let's bring it off there, and then... Swing it in there. Okay, because that, that makes a much cleaner merge in. There we go. Make sure we got a signal on there so the train... We'll stop and wait if there's another train in that line. There we go. Okay, so now the other thing we're going to need is we're going to need to set up the line here for ship freight, coal, To power plant. And I did it again. There we go. Okay. Coal to power plant. There we are. Alright, so we're right now, we're bringing, well, we have the lines with the, with the wagon set to bring coal down. We now need to buy some ships. We need somebody who can transport coal. Which is going to be these guys, the Wilhelms. And they can actually carry a lot. Uh, I think it's actually, yeah, 50 total, which, which is which is a ton. So I don't think we need a lot of these ships. Let's go ahead and get one, two, three, four, five, six. Let's get six of them for now. Set the line to there. All right. And then we now need a couple of trains. By trains. We're gonna need not necessarily something quick, but we're gonna need something with some grunt to it, because it's gonna need to haul up that hill. So you do 585 horsepower, LSWR440. You do 80 kilometers per hour. That's a passenger locomotive. Let's see. 219 horse, 469 horse, 557 horse. I think the consolidation might be our best option here. Unless we use this. It's attractive effort. 86 kilonewtons. 98 kilonewtons. I think I think we're gonna go with these guys. All right, we're gonna buy that, and we're gonna need something that is going to carry slag. That's all this is gonna be doing right now. Is carrying slag. Uh, slag is going to be. Uh, no, no, no. Goods wagon, early box car. 
Uh, hopper wagon? No. British four plank open a long wagon and carry stone, slack, and construction material. We don't need anything that quick. It carries five. GWR three plank open wagon. Early gondola. You carry slag. You do sixty four. What's what's the cost? You're cheaper. All right, let's put one, two, three, four, five, six. Let's put six on there. Let's get two of those trains. And there goes all the money. All right, set line. There we go. I don't think we're gonna be bringing that much slag, to be honest. You know what, let's just go ahead and let's put one train on here for now one train on there for now. Sell the sell that train. We didn't really use it, so we should have gotten everything back for it. Auto save. There we go. All right, let's let's kick the the speed up. All right, cuz we're going to need those boats. All right, so there's our there's our boats. Now it's a matter of line usage says yes, which means that we're now transporting. And this, now those, those early gondolas, they can carry coal. So that means we can also bring coal from here. You're not actually transporting any coal, are you? No. Alright, do you show a line usage? Yes, yes, okay. So that means the game is letting me know that everything is all connected the way it should, and this should work. Then we'll deliver the construction materials, we'll pick it up, we'll deliver it there, we'll deliver it there. We do need to start getting freight into Ori, though. That's one thing. We'll figure that out, I think. Alright, what is the frequency on your route? Five minutes. That's not bad. Even with the stop. See, the thing is, I don't know if we're ever going to carry any construction materials because these uh, trains are going to be carrying a heavy load. So I wonder if I can't go in here and say, you know what? Let's add something here, couple of gondolas, they need to be able to carry tools, which they can, so yeah, let's add a couple gondolas on there, let's replace it, just so that it'll have a couple of open wagons that are ready to take construction materials, just in case it does come through this station fully loaded. Right, like like this guy is going to. He's fully loaded with logs, but we do want them to still carry construction materials. So yeah, we'll add those additional wagons there so they'll they'll move stuff. Alright. Good. Alright, we're delivering coal. But nobody here is going to have coal because they all left before any coal. At least, I don't think they have coal.
Nope, there's 12 coal. So they managed to get some coal there before the ships all left. So you have 10 coal and you have two. Okay, so we are gonna get some coal delivered and uh, eventually we're gonna get some slag moving and then we'll get those construction materials and everything should be good. All right. We are gonna need a passenger ferry to Limsa Limensa there at some point as well. Uh, we can either wait until we're over here and run either from and Randgrees or Pallet Town, or we can bring one in from Revelstone. I'm not sure how I want to handle that. But we definitely need to get this guy connected to passengers, and we're also going to be transporting freight by ship as well because this is a very iron rich island there. Bring iron back here to feed that into the steel mill. All right, class 89 Prussian T3 and the Adams radial tank. Interesting. And then if we have anything that can use coal down here, that can use coal. Huh. We would need to get some grain to it, which we have grain there. Or we have grain there. Hmm. There's some options. That could use coal. That could use coal. Coal? Iron ore? Steel. Slag? Comes back to there. Construction materials. Okay. There, there's an idea there. So, we'll have to see if we want to keep working freight or if we want to continue working passengers. Like extending the, uh, the crater loop through Alda and High Charity. We'll see. Alright, but we are at the end of the episode. So we're going to go ahead and pause here. And uh, when we come back, we'll see how this thing is running. It's probably still losing us money. The, uh, the road line is actually making money now. Power plant is losing money. Side of construction yet because that isn't moving anything yet. Alright. That's not making money yet. Okay. But we're actually we're doing pretty well, I think. Alright, so as I said, you're gonna go ahead and pause here. So we will see what we're gonna do next when we come back. Alright, so I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Go ahead, like, subscribe, and comment, and I will see you next time.